Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today, well, we got to go get something for the car. And it deals with the tires. So, anyways, let's hop into the car. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get in this car. Guys, love this startup. Man, always love that sound. Love that sound. Everybody, so let's talk a little bit. And yes, guys, before I get into the video, I need you guys to tap in with me and hit the like button, guys. This is one of the best ways to show your support for the Boost in Motion channel by giving that free like. So please, I would really appreciate it if you guys continue to like my content. And if you are new to the channel and you do like my content, think about subscribing, hit the bell notification, and hit all. And also be part of the like squad too. It's very, I'm super appreciative of when you guys hit that like button because it's one of the best ways for you guys to give back. All right, so picked up the tires from another Infinity guy, but now he drives an STI. And I really, really liked his STI. You know, and we were just chopping it up for the next, for the, about five, 10 minutes, just talking. You know, and he's talking about the car and everything like that. And we both talked about how much we really like the new G80s and, you know, that they're marked up really expensive right now. We just really can't afford it because no one wants to pay that much for a seventy, eighty thousand dollar car. You're literally paying twenty five percent to almost fifty percent above MSRP. No, that car is not worth that right now just because of what's going on. Anyways, but he made a statement. He said, you know, his uh, Q50 got uh, flooded in the last storm we had in 2021, and he went and got another car and. As much as he wanted to get different cars, including a BMW, he said he's always wanted to get an STI. And just talking to him and just having just banter about cars and everything, it just reminded me of like being a kid, you know? When I was like 15, 16, you know, dreaming about getting these specific cars as I got older. And now that I'm older, there's a lot of cars that I can get and I can afford to get. And I don't know, it's just, it's just this urge, man, that I really love cars and you know that at the end of the day, guys, I think that we got to understand that don't get rid of that kid in you. I know we get children. I know we get families. I know we do adult things. It is what it is. We're all adults here. But when it comes to this car world, when you're a car person, don't don't get rid of that kid in you, man. Don't get rid of it because just seeing the happiness and joy in his face. And the joy that I get driving this car, the Q60, and some of you guys I meet, like, we, we, we are different. We're a specific, a different type of people. We're not like everyone else. And I just want you guys to continue to, like, love and have a passion for cars. We may go back and forth about BMW, Infinity, all this XYZ, but just always keep that passion for these cars, guys. Just always keep that passion. So I want you guys to take a look at the tires. Michelin. Pilot Sport All Seasons. Brand new spanking tread. He literally said he drove it around the block. He actually only has like two, maybe less than two miles on it. Because he drove around the block and said, no, this isn't going to work. So now I'm going to have these brand new fuck, brand new spanking tires on this car. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. New tire tread. Mm. Smells new. Even got the hairs on it. All right, guys, so it's the next day or a couple days later. So we're going to head to um, one of my favorite tire shops because I don't really have any other tire shops that I trust. I'm um, going to N-Track Tires in Queens, and we're going to get these uh, rear tires installed. Also in this video, if you guys live in the New York City tri-state area, they have a powder coating special. Yes, guys. Some of you guys go to, like, other powder coating companies, but n has been doing this for years. Good quality work. And they own, they do basic colors for four hundred dollars. That means four wheels, four hundred dollars. I don't know about brake cal calipers and any other powder coating that you need, but that's about a hundred dollars per wheel. They also fix the wheels. I'm gonna say it again. They also fix the wheels. So they fix the crack in the bends, depending on how bad it is. But they fix the crack in the bends, and they repaint all four wheels for you. And then on top of that. I'm gonna have to double check, but they also, repeat, they also give you loaner wheels. Yes, that means you drop the car off there and they'll give you some loaner wheels too. That's that's pretty freaking dope. 
So outside of that, let's hurry get there. I'm going through the Belt Parkways traffic. And uh, yeah, fast forward. As I was saying, you know, we had to take our little bit of an interlude um, listening to that gorgeous R8. So sedans usually come with the front tires being a little bit shorter than the rear tires. But the coupes come with the tires front and rear being very similar. I don't know why. From what I've been reading with the forums, it could be based on the differentials are different between the sedan and the coupe. So for, for to mitigate that, you know, those times, those times and everything like that, those 60, zero to 60s and stuff, they go with a taller tire, I would assume, in the sedan. I don't know, but I know these cars are very finicky. So also because of that, what I've been realizing, as I told you guys before, um, from doing a roll race, the car is going to lose traction regardless. But usually with ABS systems, you don't want to throw off the spec on what the original equipment is because when you go with a really large tire, a really short, short tire, Right, you're throwing off how the ABS would react with traction control. Knowing that the tire that I had on the car is technically a little bit shorter than the front tire, that means that it was spinning a little faster than the front tires. So usually if I floored it and I spun, guess what happens? Boom, there it goes. The traction control would jump off, a drop on a lot quicker. But when you go back with a taller tire, in this case, the 265-40, now the, if it does start to spin, it'll still be within that threshold I would assume, this is just from my own um, experience when I used to work on cars and everything like that with tires and ABS systems and stuff. So hopefully this mitigates it, but it's still going to slip regardless. The car has almost 600 pounds of torque to the rear wheels. It's going to spin. This looks freaking great. You got to torque them all down. Oh shit, that shit is such a tedious thing, man. Woo. Mm-hmm, that's what they want. Damn, these are the deepest. This is like negative offset in these motherfuckers. Damn. See, so guys, you got a. Uh, these are probably. You put the face on, right? That's the red face that they put on. Like, yeah, yeah okay, cool. Because it's not. It's basically like a monoblock wheel with a red face. Oh, look at these NTs. Oof, I'm not going to touch them. These look like they're still drying, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. Look, NT03s looking great. Look at these three, three piece wheels right here. Sexy. They're still running a special over here where it's going to be, I think, $400 for basic colors, right? Yeah. They're still running a special for $100 for basic colors. They also still repair the wheels and repair the wheels too. It's band and crack. Y'all still do the loaner set too, just in case? I'm not sure. You're not too sure about the loaner set? Okay, cool. So I'm going to still have to double check that with the boss, but yeah, they still definitely doing that. This special this is a crazy special. Simple colors though, nothing crazy, you know, that was a weird mixture or anything like that. Let's go take a look. Brand new, clean Michelin tires. So you guys can't make fun of me and laugh. All right, you guys like to laugh at me. Michelin tires, okay? Yes. Also, I didn't. Do, I don't think I told you how much I got these for. But if you guys want to know, I got these for about a hundred dollars a tire. Shout out to a fellow subscriber of the channel who pretty much sold this to me for a crazy steal. I'm gonna take that. But um, we're gonna keep the old tires. I'm probably gonna try to sell them. I don't really need them. This is the original spec. I'd rather stick with the original spec, 26540. I mean, also, I want to show you guys the difference. Right? See the difference of the tire height? So it's way thicker in the rear. Way thicker. That's just the way it comes in factory 265 in the front and 245 in the front. Dead serious. And I don't mean 265 35, 265 40. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys it too. 
right in the door. Come on, car, shut up. All right. Once you see guys that received the original spec, 245, 40, 18, 265, 40. And because it's not as wide, I'm even a little bit better flush with the rear now, which is really good. And I'm, I have the proper tire size in the rear. So let's take a quick look from the side so we can get a side profile because it's enough light out here. Good, you good, you good, you good. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so you guys can take a look. And you see how the tires look now. See, that's how it's supposed to come from factory. 265.40 in the front and 245.40 in the rear. So the rear is going to sit a little bit higher. Anyways, let's get in the car. Let's uh, get out of here. All right, guys. So tires are on. And I could tell you right now, it, being in the tire game for, for a long time, I literally feel the difference in ride quality. Immediately, the rear feels so much more better. And mind you, I came here on the same tires. It got colder outside. Maybe because the tires were already warm. That's probably what helps out a lot too. But boy, it feels so much more better. So much more better. Oh my God. And I guess because it's the taller sidewall too. Because remember guys, even if it's a 40 wall, a 265-40. Uh, 265-40 is taller than 245-40. Here's why. Because the 40, the 40 isn't an, isn't a uh, a measurement; it's in percentage. So 40% of 265, or 40% of 245. So if you're 40% of 265, it's it, the sidewall is going to be a little bit taller. So that's why it looks taller. Yep, and it feels so much more better. Anyways, let me hurry and get home. If I see anything going on or get into anything, then you know, I'll record it. But I doubt that's going to happen. There's too much traffic out here, and this car isn't all-wheel drive. So I can have all that type of fun and everything. So anyways, let's hurry and get home. But damn, that sun looks real nice. Looks nice out here. Look at the difference between windshield tint and no windshield tint. Big difference. See? Anyways, let's hurry and get home. Number one, the ride comfort is amazing. Guys, I used to sell Michelin tires. I used to work for BJ's Wholesale Club some time ago. So I sold these tires. And yo, they feel amazing super quiet super grippy even though it's about 35 45 degrees outside i think it's about 45 40 they grip so well mind you the last tires had good tread well slightly older dot dates but more broken in but these aren't broken in yet and they feel so good they are sticking oof man i love the compound also on top of that they're super quiet you don't hear as much road noise with them i'm not gonna lie now now Hate to say it, I gotta change up the front tires. I already said I was gonna change them out, but I'm gonna have to change up the front tires too in the next couple, a couple weeks. Uh, the front tires have some wear on the inner edge. I did flip them for the time being, but I just wanna get the car back to original spec and everything A-OK. -okay. I mean, they still have good tread in the front. It's just that I wanna make sure it's taken care of. But yeah, guys, and I did, I did find some space to do quick little pulls, you know, from 30 and 50, and just see if they'll grip a little better. And it definitely did. Not like where it would spin and the car would lose a bunch of power. It really gripped really good. So I'm going to still test it out in the next couple of days and give you guys my honest you know, opinion. I don't think I'm going to make a secondary video to this unless I'm changing out the front tires too. But as of right now, oh my God, it feels so good. Ugh. But anyways, uh, shout out to Intrac once again. Uh, guys, go check out that special. It's a pretty dope special, and it's pretty much been helping. Uh, Intrac has been helping out the community for super long with these great prices. And I try to always plug you guys in to places that I go because your boy Boost like to be on a budget sometimes. You know, save a little change if I could, you know. So outside of that, guys, go follow Intrac Tires on their IG. Um, also on top of that, definitely tap in with your boy Boost Emotions channel. Definitely hit the subscribe button with the bell notification hit all. And if you're part of the Boost Emotion family, I, if you haven't hit the like button already, what is you doing, brothers? Come on. And my fellow sisters, too. I have a couple of ladies that watch my channel. So if you can, definitely hit the like button with the subscribe. With the Hit the like button. I want to say hit the subscribe button. You already subscribed. So anyways, outside, I'm tapping out. I appreciate you guys so much. But anyways, outside of that, guys, I uh, hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a good day. Thank you.
Thank you everybody for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.